Arthritis is often thought of as an ailment of the elderly, but it's the most common autoimmune disorder among children. The illness can be well controlled with the medications available today, but the challenge for doctors is that children each respond differently to the various treatments available. Furthermore, the side effects can be worse in some children than in others. Dr. Heinrike Schmieling is leading an international research study that's trying to find out if there are genetic markers that might one day let doctors come up with a test to determine which medications will be best for each patient. When we early control the disease, the outcome is much better. Um, and my, we are looking still for some markers who tells us in the beginning, directly after diagnosis, who will respond well to this treatment or who needs this other treatment and who will develop significant side effects so that we can avoid this treatment and to choose another drug. And my research focuses on genetic markers, to find some genetic markers who predict response to treatment. Sisters Maria and Magdalena Storkova are among the roughly 350 patients with pediatric arthritis who are seen each year at Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary. They are also participants in the research study, trying to determine which medications will be the best for each patient. Yeah, we started a study for sertralizumab, new medication, about three quarters of a year ago. So and we yeah. have to get shot every two weeks, and it seems to be working. The naproxen worked well. The methotrexate, we, she had it for two years, and then I had it for the one year, and then or one and a half, two and a half. And then we decided to switch because it wasn't controlling it quite as well as we would have liked. Swollen joints are the most common symptoms seen in children, but there are sometimes more serious complications such as inflammation of the heart, eyes, and other organs. So they can suffer a lot of pain, they have ongoing swelling, they cannot walk adequately, and another very, I think, big component is also tiredness, low energy levels, so they often miss schools or they cannot go with the peers, they lost the peers because friends, because you know they cannot run and play and jump together. My knees actually started hurting and my fingers were also stiff when I was playing piano. It was hard to play piano that year. It's estimated about one in a thousand children will develop pediatric arthritis. Dr. Schmieling established the first early childhood arthritis program in Canada. The main thing is really to find a good balance between side effects on the one side and to effective control the disease because otherwise you have the side effects from the disease. And the goal is, so what we are doing is, we are collecting saliva from kids to determine the genetic variants and see if we find some markers who tells us, for example, this kid will not respond to this specific drug but has a, will have a very great response to another drug.